I wish all jeans were made this good because these are the GOAT. Hey everyone, I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews, of course a channel dedicated to reviewing quality at different price points. Do you have jeans? <laughs> That's a rhetorical question. I know you have jeans. Everyone has jeans. We all have that favorite pair of denim, those favorite pair of jeans that we always go to. Maybe they just look great on us, or maybe they just feel great. We have that pair of go-to denim. Now, because of my channel, I have tried a lot of different denim, a lot of different jeans, and some of them are very good. And because of the subject content of my channel, it seems that the normal trajectory for where my channel would go would be for me to become one of the denim heads. Kind of follow the cult of denim, as it were. But I have to be honest with you guys, I am not a denim head. I am kind of almost anti-denim head. I don't really like the kind of weird horniness <laughs> around really thick denim. I just don't get it. But I will go over that in a different video. Today, we're gonna be talking about these jeans right here because of all the jeans that I've tried, these have got to be the best. These are the GOAT. But before we do that, why don't you consider subscribing? I think that you'll really like it here. If you like videos about quality products, fashion, EDC, everything in between, I think you really like it here. Now I'll have a link down below to these jeans. If you're interested in these, you can go check them out at the link down below. That is an affiliate link, so anything you buy through that does help all the channel. I always appreciate it when you do that. But I think that you'll really like these, so definitely just just go look, go, just go check them out. Now in the denim world, there are pretty much two schools of thought with denim. It is raw denim or nothing. <laughs> it's live denim or die apparently. And lately I've been doing some research on the topic of denim and I came across this company, which is WiseMade. Now I've been following them for a while, I believe since 2019, before the pandemic. I was anxiously awaiting the debut of their line and then 2020 came around and then I just had to wait and wait and wait. But recently, within the last year, they launched their line to great, great acclaim. And I wanna talk about at least one of the products today, but I have another product, Easter egg, that I wanna talk about at a different time. So WiseMade is a small company started by the owner Nick Weiss, who has a storied history in the fashion world himself. They're making really classic, very simple, American style clothes. And everything is farm, milled, and sewn in the US. Everything, everything. You don't often see this dedication to having everything made within the USA. But when I tried these jeans, I stopped dead in my tracks because there was just something about these jeans that was special. I talked to the owner a little bit and he told me the backstory of this line of jeans, how it has multiple years of research and development going into denim, which you don't normally see that. And WiseMade does have raw denim on their website. You can go check those out if you really like raw denim. But these jeans are not raw. They don't have a selvage ID. And despite that, these are the best jeans I have ever ever experienced. No hyperbole, no joking, 100% legit, these are the best. But these pants prove that washed denim can be just as good, just as high quality as raw denim is, or selvage denim. And what really set these jeans apart are the attention to details, the construction, the fit, the fabric, the quality, the feel, these are just a cut above. First, let's talk about the materials and the construction real quick. Now, of course, everything is sourced within the USA. They have ring spun cotton milled from American farms. The fabric is then woven, dyed, and finished in Mount Vernon Mills in Georgia. And then it's cut and sewn in Los Angeles. Even the buttons, the rivets and the buttons are made in Georgia as well. The fabric is excellent, and that's what really caught my eye here. There's something about the feel of this that feels different. It feels thicker. It feels more premium. For lack of a better term here, there's just a different essence or aura about this denim. It turns out it took over two years to make this denim, and this is made from a 14 ounce broken twill cotton denim with 1% stretch in there. Now, I like stretchy jeans. These don't feel like normal stretchy jeans, even though there's a little bit in here. It feels like normal jeans to me. The broken twill is the really interesting part here. If you get your jeans and you turn the leg inside out, you'll see that there are lines. It goes either in a left or a right direction. 
shine. That's just the way that the fabric is made on the looms themselves. And because of that, whenever the denim shrinks, it actually twists just a little bit. But because of this broken twill, it's actually made in a right and a left direction. And if you look at this, it looks almost like a herringbone pattern. So it gives these jeans a different feel. It adds to the durability of this. It won't twist. It'll be a little bit more shrink resistant and it's a little bit stronger. But then there's other things that are really special to the care, quality, and attention to detail with these jeans. Like there is a folded fly on the inside to give it a very clean look. That's not something you'll find on your everyday jeans. That's not even something you'll find on high-end jeans normally. But that is something you'll find on maybe a high-end denim jacket. Tucked belt loops on the side for extra strength and a cleaner look. Double needle side seam, a chain stitched waist and hem. And then the denim is hand washed and sanded for a broken in and soft feel. This is in the river wash, which is a kind of medium blue. It does come in a different color called ocean blue or something like that. And I really like the color of this too. It obviously has some fade built in already, which I like. If I'm gonna get a medium blue, I like it like this, where there's not a lot of lines and whiskers and where I want it to be a little bit more uniform overall. There's a very visceral feeling when you have this in your hand that I can't communicate through the camera. You put this in your hand, you understand. You just instantly understand. There's something about it that just communicates that it's better, that it's stronger, that it's just better denim overall. And I felt that way before I had even tried them on, before I even knew what the denim was. I just tried them on and fell in love. All right, now let's go into the fit and the feel of these jeans. Now in his line, these are called the Sam or the Sam Fit. He has two different fits. The Sam Fit is kind of more of an athletic fit, a little bit more room in the thigh, has a tapered leg opening. I really like the way these look as these aren't really skinny. They're a great athletic fit. I think they work well for a lot of different body types. And then he has another fit called the Jack, which is a little bit more of a straight, maybe straight tapered type of look if you want those instead. I got these in size 32, 32. They have two different hem lengths, 32.5 and 30. These are in the 32.5 hem length. The waist fits perfectly. I love that. That's normally what I wear in denim and jeans. 32.5 pretty long on me actually, but then 30 is then too short. So I'm kind of in between sizes here. It has an 11 inch mid rise and a 15 inch leg opening, which I find is perfect. Not too skinny, just a great middle ground. Now, as I mentioned, these feel phenomenal. And that's one thing that I really love about these. In a lot of high end denim, especially raw denim, especially selvage, you don't get this level of softness with denim. And that's just because of the design. They're not intended to be soft. They're just intended to last a long time. But then you have to deal with how it feels and they feel like crap, but not so with these. These feel phenomenal right away. They feel broken in right out of the box. They don't even feel like they need to have any wear at all. They look phenomenal. As I mentioned, these are a 32-32 and I think they fit me like a glove. And I don't think I've ever tried jeans that fit me this well that didn't have a lot of stretch in them. <laughs> I have some chunky thighs. I am not the denim model. You don't want to put jeans on me normally. I love the way they look on me, but I also love the way they make me feel and just the way that they look with a lot of other outfits. I love the way the crotch and the butt fits. It fits great on me. It's not restrictive at all. All the guys will understand what I mean. It's just a great fit right there. But really what stands out to me the most is the fabric itself. It's buttery, it's soft, but it feels strong. It feels very durable as well. This does not give me the impression that it's going to last for three months and then die. This looks like it's going to last for a long, long time. And I've had selvage raw denim that hasn't lasted me that long. Even though I don't have a long-term review yet, maybe I'll have one coming. This so far is amazing and I really like it. I'm really looking forward to putting miles on this and see just how good it wears over time. Now, what are my criticisms or cons with these? I think there's a couple of them here, but they're so minor. And I think this can just change with just product lineups over time. The one thing is the color itself. I really like the medium blue, but I really wish there was a darker indigo, like just pure dark indigo. I don't know how they would do that, but I do wish there was a darker version of this because that's my preferred color for denim. I also wish there was a black version, even in just standard, just black black or the more muted faded black that would kind of correlate to this medium blue here, like a medium black. The other con or criticism I have is kind of not their fault at all. It's just that they can't fit my hem length. 32.5 
is a funny length. It's not 32, it's a little bit longer. And 30 to me is just too short. I almost wish it was 30.5 and 32. 30.5 would probably actually fit me perfectly or close enough to where I wouldn't need it to be hemmed. These I'm just gonna have to get them altered, which is kind of unfortunate because I don't wanna ruin the chain stitch in the bottom, but that's just the way it goes, I guess. Now these are not inexpensive jeans. They're around the $200 range. For that amount of money, you want really good quality jeans. And what I will say is these are worth every penny that you put into it. They give you quality and more, and they give you jeans the way they should be made. You don't have to justify anything. You don't have to break them in. You don't have to do weird things with your denim. Quality, already amazing. The price, not what you would find in a mall, but I've seen denim even higher than this. So to me, I think this is a very fair value. But then when you look and see all the quality features they put in the jeans themselves, they've really loaded this with a lot of value here. And you get more than what you pay for here, I think. These jeans are just the way denim should be made. I can't tell you how many times I've bought really good denim only to be slightly let down by what I got in return. Yeah, it was raw. Yeah, it was selvage. But there's just some things, maybe it was the the construction, maybe it was the fit, maybe it was just little details that just bothered me. There's always been something that bothers me about the way that certain denims are made. This is different though, other than my very minor criticisms, there's nothing I would change about this. It's absolutely flawless and perfect. I think there's this weird obsession with a lot of different creators with raw denim in general. It's just bizarre to me. And it comes from a place of kind of elevating the fabric above the function. I don't wanna to have to break in jeans. And I definitely don't want my denim to look like all the other testimonial denims that look like crap in two years time. I just want something that looks great, feels great, and is high quality. And Wise Made, over delivered on their promise. They made the absolute best denim I've ever tried. These are the greatest of all time. They're the GOAT. Definitely go check them out at the link below. I think you really like it. And if you get some, let me know down in the comments. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews. Bye.